What do you do when your trainer isn't training you? Watch this and I'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, as you can see the title of the video, it's been a long time since I've done a rant about this situation and we visit this situation again because I've been here at Prime now for three days, okay? And I have bumped into a buttload of subscribers and most of them are young people. Well, I don't want to say young people. People that are coming into this industry that are getting trainers that are not training them. I was going to make this video geared towards a message to the trainers to rant to them, but they don't give a shit, so I'm not going to talk to the trainers. I'm going to talk to you guys, the students, okay? I'm going to give you what piece of advice I believe you should have in this situation. Okay, because I have heard three or four different horror stories from three or four different people already being here at Prime for two days, three days now. But I hear it every day on Facebook. Matt, my trainer over here at Swift, my trainer over here at Werner, my trainer over here at Stevens, my trainer over here at, at Tom, Dick, and Harry. Listen, guys, a lot of trainers don't care about you. A lot of trainers just want you on their truck for the money. But then again, there's a lot of trainers that do care, okay? I I'm not going to say that all trainers are garbage, okay? Because they're not. But there's a decent majority of trainers that don't care, okay? What do you do when you get a crappy trainer? Get another one, okay? You have to. Most people... And I see it all the time. They get a crappy trainer and they feel like, well, you know, I got to get this training done so I can make some money. I got to get through it. I'm just going to tough through it. Well, here's the problem with that, guys. You weren't trained properly. Your trainer wouldn't let you back his truck because he was afraid that you were going to hit something. Your trainer wouldn't let you go down grades or go up grades. Your trainer wouldn't let you back in the truck stop. Your trainer wouldn't let you do nothing except hold the damn steering wheel. Now you're done training. You barely pass your road test to test out to get your own truck. You're out there on your own, and now you're trying to make money, and you're nervous as hell. You got no confidence in yourself, and you're screwing up and left and right. You can't use the Qualcomm. You don't know what the hell you're doing, and you quit. Why did you quit? Because you weren't trained properly. You weren't given the knowledge you needed to succeed. Okay, with that being said, I have finally made the decision up that I have come here to Prime. Uh, I came here to Prime originally because, you know, I wanted to come to Prime and experience being a lease operator. But now I am more motivated to become a trainer. So as soon as I get my truck... I'm going to, in 60 days, when I become eligible, I am going to start training so that way I can do what I can do the best of my ability to give somebody the knowledge and the know-how to get out here and succeed and make money safely and successfully. And that's what you should strive for, too. You should want to be successful, be confident in yourself, and get the job done the right way the first time, the safe way, okay? Don't be afraid to get on the phone with your driver manager and say, hey, I feel that, well, first, let me back up here for a second. First thing you need to do is have a conversation with your trainer. Say, hey, Mr. Trainer, I don't feel that I'm getting the knowledge I need necessary to complete the job at hand. I was wondering maybe if you could spend a little more time with me on this particular topic. And if he tells you to shut up and just drive the truck, then you call your driver manager and say, hey, I need to get off this truck immediately. And I need a new trainer immediately. And if your driver manager says, well, sorry, I can help you, you go to his boss and say, hey, look, I already spoke to my trainer. I spoke to my driver manager, and they're both telling me to have a nice day. What do you want to do here? You might have to switch companies. I don't even know. But use the chain of command, guys. Start with your trainer, your driver manager, and then go from there. 
Go to his boss. I don't care if you got to go to the, the owner of the company. Most companies, good companies, Prime is one of them. Raven was one of them. Werner is not, as far as I remember. There's no open door policy at Werner, as far as I remember. I'm not sure if they changed it. But at Raven and at Prime, there's an open door policy to go right to the man himself, the owner of the company. And that's what you guys need to do. You guys need to not be afraid to speak up so that way you can get the proper training necessary to succeed out here on the road. It's dangerous out here on the road. For freaking crying out loud, a guy just got shot in the head because he wouldn't give up his trailer. Okay? Thankfully, he's still alive, I believe. Um, I hope. But you, it's crazy out here. There's a lot of shit going on. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of things happening. Okay? You need the knowledge. You need to have the confidence in yourself and the motivation to want to learn and to do this. If not, then you're in the wrong industry, guys. Because most of these trainers that I have come across, okay, I've come across a whole bunch of great ones, guys. I really have. But if you're one of those unlucky guys that gets that crappy one, please don't be afraid to speak up. I want to say there's more good trainers than bad, but I always hear about the bad stories. I always hear the horror stories, guys. I don't really often hear stories about trainers like Trainer James was to me. It was a blessing that Trainer James was amazing, and he taught me everything that I know now. And I'm still learning. He's still learning. We're all still learning, but at least he gave me the knowledge I needed to get out there on my own. He let me back in truck stops. He let me drive up and down hills. He let me do things that... I didn't think I'd be able to do it because, wow, that seems kind of crazy. But he said, do it because that's what you're going to be doing on your own anyway. And that's what you need to do. You need to do those things in training so that way when you get out there on the road, you know what to do and what not to do. Okay? I'm going to end the video because I'm going to go on for freaking hours if I don't shut the hell up. Just don't be afraid to speak up. Okay? Because if you don't speak up, you will fail. And I don't want to see you fail. I want to see you succeed so all the haters can just keep on hating against you and saying, oh, I told you you couldn't do it. No, nah, bullshit. You could do it. You just have to want to do it. Okay? That's it. Done. By the way, if you haven't seen the video from this afternoon of me driving the simulator killing a dog, the link is in the description box below. Check that one out. Um, and that's really it. So I'm going to be a trainer, by the way, here at Prime, like I said. In about 60 some odd days. Ah, oh, I love it so. Yeah, so come on over here to Prime if you want me to be your trainer. Simple as that. Here we go. I'm done. Thanks for watching. Comments below, please. Start the discussion. What do you guys think?